Morning everybody, Nigel Hawks, Hawkeye Traders, the weekend of June the 11th. Very important week coming up on the S&P and I want to show you why and also how the Hawkeye gearbox uh, can interpret a lot of these moves as well. First of all I want to show you what happened here. This was the sell-off uh, with the uh, uh, breakdown of the nuclear reactor and the earthquakes in Japan. And you can see that on the Hawkeye gearbox all the ticks started to increase and if I can match these up so that you can see they should have been doing that. Um, you'll see coming into this move down at the bottom here you can see that the ticks started to increase and we even got up to uh, 11,000 odd ticks that we were calling for the slow time frame for the day and that was the buying point that came in and then you can also see the green volume came in here on the daily after these high ticks and the market started to decline uh, its momentum on ticks so you can see the ticks coming down here now remember markets don't go down on low volume and they don't go down on low ticks as well so you can see that the market now starts to rise goes through its congestion period the ticks decline the market cannot go down on 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 this low momentum and low volume the volume stays green pushing it back out and now we come over to the live edge of the market so you can see that what has been happening here the the volume has gone red up here the ticks have increased into this down move but not substantially they're no higher than normal across here and now the market is has declined but the tick speed has really started to slow down in this move which would indicate that next week we should see a turnaround to the upside uh, I'm not going to nail myself to the cross on that but I don't think we're far off the other thing that we need to look at is what are the Hawkeye levels doing on this move down? Well, you can see that uh, um, Hawkeye levels started on. If we go to the beginning of this move here, you can see that we're nearly coming down to the three level on the daily. Let me just expand this down for you. So we're coming down now we know the markets like to reverse on the three five and seven level so the 1253 area looks very very critical this week uh, if that holds we could well start to see our run up uh, and the resumption of the weekly uptrend because the ticks have declined here the markets won't go down but remember what I teach you in class which is the tanker effect and that is even though everything might be there for the turning point uh, the market momentum and everybody will be th still th seeing short it'll just sh shoot through and rather like an oil tanker that puts it brakes on it takes five miles to turn exactly the same with us with the market particularly when they are short they take uh, uh, time to uh, reverse because they shoot on through but I would really be looking at that 523 level quite clearly uh, this week and uh, be careful the other thing to be of interest it is that the fib traders and there are a lot out there will also be looking at this level that was the 74 uh, percent uh, retracement of that run up there and again that's holding and it stopped it dead on so we've got a lot of interest coming up this week on this S&P and the gear box here is really showing that the momentum is dried up on the ticks so we should be starting to see a turnaround and if we go into our swing charts I've already set these up the 240 in the daily well we've just discussed the daily but you can see that the 240 and let me expand that out for you is also showing that it's come down from this level here that was where we started our count uh, where the volume trade changed and the trend changed it's come down it's hit the three the three is holding it on the 240 minute as well so very interesting times coming up this week do look at the gearbox and gear changer and um, good fortune in your trading